हेलो एवरी वन गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल ऑफ यू हाव आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन वेलकम बैक योर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस स्टे होम स्टे सेफ आई होप यू ऑल आर अ सेफ ऑल स्टूडेंट्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर स्टार्टिंग ही अवर मैथ्स लेक्चर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग अवर मैथ्स लेक्चर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग अवर मैथ्स लेक्चर स्टूडेंट्स वी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट वी सी डेली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी सी हियर डेली स्कॉट मीन्स टूडे स्कॉट सो ना लेट सी हियर वॉट इज टूडे स्कॉट ऑल पावर इज विथ इन वॉट ऑल पावर इज विथ इन वी हैव अ पावर विथ अ इन इन अवर बॉडी ऑल पावर इज विथ इन यू यू कैन डू एनीथिंग इट and everything means what all power is within you you can do anything and everything okay it means what you have a power to do anything or do something do everything you must be do something all of you understood now we move on what we have done in previous sessions i hope you remember what we have done in previous lecture we have done in previous lecture using a bar model for problem solving already we learn this topic again today we are going to discuss and do the revision on a using a bar models for problem solving in last lecture we have do the revision of previous lecture then the using a bar model what is a bar model is a form of the box for problem solving addition model subtraction model and comparison model understood all students using a bar models for a problem solving addition model subtraction model and comparison model it means addition model means we have to add, add something subtraction means subtract something and comparison we have compare that to a sum or as a form of the model got my point all students this is all things we are learn in last lectures okay so now students we move on what today what we are going to learn today we are going to learn student learn of re revision of last session means who what we have done in last sessions and today again we are revise this all topic using a bar model for problem solving what using a bar model for problem solving then after addition model then after subtraction model and then after comparison model i hope you all are understood this is your all things understood all students first of all we do the revision of previous lecture means last lecture then using a bar model for problem solving then after addition model and subtraction model and then for the comparison model students we to we all things in our stations addition okay using a bar model for problem solving but in first addition model what we are going to learn what we have done so addition model we have done two example and again we do again i am explaining you a addition model of example example 1 and 2 uh, by a two example then after subtraction subtraction model that time i am taking only one example and then comparison and that topic only i am one taking a take take the one example okay and today new topic in new question today we are going to on exercise number third f okay exercise number third f filling the details on the bar model to help you solving the question this question is based on using a bar model for problem solving addition model subtraction model and comparison model as a basis of this all further uh, uh, before topic and we do the further exercise of a previous topic got my point all students what i am telling you understood what today we are what, today what we are going to learn today we are going to learn fill in the details fill on the details bar model to help you solve the question it means the question is what that addition model and problem solving subtraction and comparison okay so in exercise number 3 f we have to do as like that got my point all students we do as like that so students now today we are starting a exercise number 3 f okay before starting any new topic or new exercise first of all we do here the revision of last lecture and revision of this all things 
revision of this all things understood all students exercise number third f before we learn and revise this all topic so now let's see here what is a using bar model for problem solving sometimes you may find it difficult to decide how to solve problems okay sometimes use okay first of all which topic we are do and take as a re as a revision so here as a revision or a today we are again revise this topic using a bar models for a problem solving sometimes you may find it difficult to decide how to solve problems it means what sometimes you may find it what we have find it find it difficult to decide how to solve problems what how to solve problems in such cases I mean such example drawing a bar model can help what is can help us our bar model help uh, help us to solving the problem understood so now let's see a re revision of last lecture okay so topic is what using a bar model for problems and in first topic first topic is what that here uh, first topic is that addition model what addition model in addition model the example number one we know what is the addition model got my point all students i hope you remember this all example and all topics addition model example number one what is example number one the cook made some sandwiches for the picnic what the cook made okay she is a cook okay the cook made some sandwiches some sandwiches for the picnic and 60 62 sandwiches were eaten how many sand sandwiches eaten 62 uh, sorry 20, uh, 62 sandwiches eaten and 26 were okay cook made this cook made sandwiches for the picnic and 62 sandwiches were eaten okay 62 sandwiches eaten by our picnic pic, uh, people of picnic okay eaten by those people and 26 were left so how many sandwiches had the cook made okay how many sandwiches cook the maid okay now here all things we have learned just a bit again what we have to do here we do the revision take care the problem has the word okay here which word is important take care about the problem has the word of left see here this word left okay 26 where left this word is important for us so students how many sandwiches had the cook made so is a left word is important but it cannot be solved with subtraction this sum left means we are always taking here cannot be solved with subtraction it means what here the left word is so what we have a decide left okay so we are decide here the we do here the subtraction but we are here don't do the subtraction here see now read but it cannot be solved with subtraction so read this topic what we are learn here addition model so we do here the only addition subtractions left means we have a idea whenever left left word is come so what we do at a time we do the subtract but here no no need to doing the subtraction got my point all students so now is a help of bar model it's called bar model what it's called what bar model total sandwich made the total sandwich made this total sandwich made by cook okay so here strength of total sandwich we don't know how many total sandwich made it she made it we don't know but we know 26 is left and 62 eaten so that's data we have enough to solve the problems okay so as a bar model we draw the first bar model and then we write in detail total sandwich is made and then we write the 62 eaten and 26 left understood there we write the 62 eaten and 26 left so we write as like that total sandwich is made 62 eaten and 26 left so how many we do the here addition 62 plus 26 62 plus 26 the one by one we go, uh, go the 
going through the what step step by step we are go so 6 plus 2 do with your finger 6 7 or 8 so we write as answer 8 then for the 6 plus 2 6 plus 2 so how many all students 8 got my point all students that's why what here 88 so eaten sandwich and left sandwich how many 88 so we can write as like that the cook had made 88 sandwich for the picnic what is the question how many sandwich had the cook made understood the cook had made 88 sandwich for the picnic okay now here one some instructions read and i explain you the bar shows the total number of sandwich made the bar shows total number of total number of sandwiches made the shows that we have to find the total number of sandwiches the shows that we have to find the total number okay this you can see here this a uh, question mark this question mark shows to find the total number sandwich because of here eaten number is rot, uh, rot and here left number is rot that's why we have to find this question mark two digit understood all students so find the total number of sandwiches made now the number now the same bar model show that of the all sandwiches made a 62 were eaten and 26 were left the model shows us that 62 plus 26 will give us the total number of sandwiches made understood this is your basic information we have to do in this sum okay so we have no need to write this all information we have to write only this example in your book got my point all students now we move on second example of what second example of gardener second example of gardener exam is example uh, of gardener but example of which addition example okay addition model or example of addition model so the gardener planted 47 saplings on monday how many saplings on monday 47 on monday he planted 50 more than more than that on tuesday how many saplings did he plant on tuesday what my point all students the gardener planted 47 saplings on monday and he planted 15 more than, than that on tuesday how many saplings did did he plant on tuesday the problem has the word more than but it is not a comparison sum what here they clarify to us what the problem has the word more than so what to do more than so we have a compare how many how how many he sapling how many planted on monday and how many planted on tuesday is this comparison more than means comparison but it's not a comparison so okay now see first read the inst instructions here the bar model first show the number of sapling planted see here monday 47 planted planted is sapling are planted on monday next we attach one more smaller bar to show the extra number of sapling plant on tuesday see here monday sapling pan planted 47 on monday and we draw here the small box and we write there 15 or uh, 15 what but tuesday sapling plant on tuesday got my point so now what to do here we do here the subtraction sorry addition not a subtraction or not a comparison we do here the addition because of here that more than words but it's not comparison sums and we do not uh, subtraction how can it possible so explain you 47 minus 15 so we know so more many more than that tuesday we know did he planted on tuesday got my point so here 47 minus sorry 47 plus 15 47 means 47 plus 15 Got my point all students 47 plus 15 7 plus 5 7 plus 5 so how many all students 2 here and 1 as the hidden form of the carry hide it means hide hide 1 is hide there okay so 7 5 means 7 5 is, is equal to how many 12 so 2 here and as a 1 1 
as a form of the carry okay and then after we do the next step so 1 2 2 plus 4 2 plus 4 so how many was done 6 how many 6 so answer is what the gardener planted 62 Sapling on Tuesday. What more than to Monday to more than sixty-two? The gardener planted. Question is what? How many sapling did he planted on Tuesday? The gardener planted sixty-two sapling on Tuesday. Got my point, all students. Now we move on the subtraction model. What we are move on the subtraction model. So here let's do the solve the subtraction model. Okay, students. This uh, this. instruction is not useful for us okay so no need to write or no no need to i'll explain so okay, i cannot explain you okay subtraction model example number 1 of subtraction model subtraction model in example number 1 let's check here what is the question and under uh, and understand the problem there are a 45 flowers flowers in all in a bucket 27 of there are roses the rest are a stairs how many a stairs a stairs are there in a bu bucket so there are 45 flowers in all in bucket a uh, bucket and 27 there these are roses means 45 fl flowers in bucket and uh, and uh, 27 these are roses so rest of a stairs how many a stairs are there in the bucket okay bucket got my point so now first of all i'll read here the ins instructions the bar shows that total number of flowers in bucket here this first bar it's called bar model so first bar is what show shown us to total flowers 45 okay in bucket in bucket is how many any flowers 45 into 45 27 are roses see here these roses flowers are 27 and a stars flower a name of flower a star a shape of as like stars a stars a stars how stars are how, how many we don't know okay total 45 flowers into 27 are roses so we do here the subtraction because of uh, that time because of we know Okay, total flower is forty five into twenty seven is rose. So forty five minus twenty twenty seven. So we don't know. We that time we know. Okay, first of all we don't know, but after the solve problem we know forty five minus twenty seven. So we know the how many bucket, how many uh, stairs are there in bucket. Understood? So we know that twenty seven of the forty five flowers are uh, roses. So we show the part of the bar. to represent the number of roses what we know that 27 of of the 45 flowers are roses so we saw part of the bar to represent the number of roses got my point all students the rest of the bar will be a stair what the rest of the bar will be a stair 45 minus 27 will give us the number of a stair in bucket 45 minus 27 will give us the number of a stair in the bucket so we do here the subtraction 45 minus 27 5 minus 7 so what to do that time we take the borrow put the 10 plus this 5 15 minus 7 15 minus 7 so how many all students do in your book 15 minus 7 is equal to Eight and then we cut the further digit. We cut here four and put the small digit three. Okay, we cut the four and put the small digit three and three minus this two. Three minus two is equal to one. Forty forty-five minus twenty-seven. So three minus two is equal to one. So answer is what eighteen. So there are eighteen a stairs in the bucket. We know twenty-seven. See now how can we check our answer? 27 is rose and our answer is what 18 18 is ester so we write the answer is what come 45 cross checking it's called what cross checking got my point all students now let's move on a uh, next next 
topic means means what comparison model what is a comparison model i hope you all are understood what is a comparison model the comparison model means here we have to compare something example number 2 susmita has two album of sticker susmita has c c students here c has a album one and two album c has two album when we are comparing the quantities we need two bar what first of all read here the instructions all when we are comparing quantities means number of strength okay how many albums are here all students how many albums she has she has two albums so that time at a time we and when we are comparing the quantities we are need to two bars so one and two bar got my points so first of all read the instructions means read the question and understand the problem so susmita has two album of sticker album a has 53 sticker okay album a has how many sticker all students 53 sticker and album b has 41 sticker album b has how many sticker 51 stickers and how many more stickers are there in album a so what to uh, what to do here what we are going to do here we are find here the how many more stickers are there in album got my points read this instructions first the first bar show the numbers of sticker in a album a then after the second bar is is a shorter bar as is a show that album b has a fewer stickers the difference in the length of the two bars show how many more stickers in album a it means what now first bar show the number of sticker album a see here we draw the two models bar model first of all album a for one model and album b for model 2 okay so album a model a stickers what we have write that time bar show that number of stickers album a understood then the second bar the second bar is shorter bar as a show that album b see here write the album b and here album a 53 sticker and album b 41 sticker show as the favor sticker favor sticker the difference in the length of two bar show how many more ticket in a uh, sorry more stickers in album a okay so here what to do how many more stickers in album a we are deciding here so that time we have to do what to do subtract okay we that time we do a subtract so 53 minus 40 one 53 minus how many also done 53 minus 40 one so we are do here the 53 minus 41 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 then 5 minus 4 is equal to 1 got my point i hope you all are understood the so answer is what 12 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 and 5 minus 4 is equal to 1 so answer is what 12 answer is 12 so there are 12 more sticker in album what there are there are 12 more more album sorry there are 12 more sticker in album understood all students now this is here complete your revision now we move on exercise number 3d related to all this topic what is exercise number 3f exercise number 3f is fill in the details on the bar model to help you, uh, you solve the question because of we have learned addition model subtraction model and comparison model so we do perform this uh, ex, uh, in exercise number 3f on a basis of this all topic so now we move on question number 1 what is the question number 1 let's check here first question is was asmita see here asmita uh, sorry asima and her sister have pulled a money pulled a money to buy a gift for their mother and asima give a 46 rupees and her give a 40 Four, sorry, fifty-four rupees. How much did gift cost? Again, I'll repeat you here. Ashima and her sister have pulled a money to buy a gift to their mother. If Ashima gave forty-six and her sister gave fifty-four, how much did the gift cost? Okay, cost. So first of all, here Ashima, Ashima and sister and her sister buy a gift for. Whom her 
mother. So both pulled a money for gift to her mother and Ashima gave 46 rupees and her sister gave 54. So how much did the, we have to do here the addition total mo, uh, means total money how much did the gift cost okay so asima gave how many rupees 46 and and her sister gave a 44 so we find the uh, total cost now let's check here the answer all students so now answer is what answer is one is here cost of the gift asima gave how how many rupees 46 rupees and her sister gave 54 rupees so now let's do here how uh, cost of the gift cost of the gift is how how much okay so 6 plus 4 6 plus 4 so how many all students 10 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 so 0 and 1 is a form of carry so 0 here and 1 carry then after 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 5 5 plus 5 how many 10 the answer is what not a 10 100 means 100 0 count with 0 okay so 100 again I'll repeat you here as Asima give, gave a 46 rupees to a binding gift to her mother and her sister gave a rupees 54. So we have addition, do the both addition and we find the how much cost of the gift. So 46 plus 54, the answer is what? 100. The cost of the gift is how many? How much? 100 rupees. Got my point all students. I hope you all, all are un understood and enjoying our maths lectures. Okay. So here question number 2. Question number 2 is what all students? Sadaf's class teacher. Sadaf's class teachers cut the 52 strip of the paper. Strip of the paper means what? A small paper. Okay. I think you got the cheat as a uh, for a holiday for the vacation for the exam in second standard or first standard i hope you remember this strip okay cheat you said you told as like that sir ma'am i don't got the cheat i didn't got the cheat cheat means that time we don't speak properly okay so it's called a strip of the paper means paper ka piece it means a strip of paper sadaf uh, sadaf class teachers cut the 52 strip of the paper for the class bulletin board she need 85 strip in all how many more strip should she cut okay 52 cut and she needed 85 so 85 minus 52 we do here as like that we do here as like that got my point all students okay so answer is what all students 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 8 minus 5 is equal to 3 what we got answer my uh, 33 so how can we write the answer she cut 33 strip she cut a how many strip 33 strip a uh, left to be uh, left to be cut it so we write a 33 and how to check across answer how to check across answer checking 52 plus this answer 33 30 so we do with in your rough work 52 plus 33 so how many 85 all students okay so now how can we solve this sum 85 minus 52 so 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 and 8 minus 5 is equal to 3 she got 33 strip sir okay i hope you all are understood then now move on question number three question number three is what 36 children were at the park how many children is it's were at a park total 36 children were at the park 12 children left how many are still in the park so again i'll repeat you 36 children were at the park and 12 children left how many are still in the Park. It means what? How many are, sti uh, are still in the park? Okay, 36 children in that park and 12 children left. So children in park left and still there. So now uh, check the answer. So answer number three: children in park total 36 and left is 12 and still there. We don't know. So what to do? 36 minus 12 how many 36 minus 12 so 36 minus 12 so 6 minus 2 is equal to how many all students 4 6 minus 2 is equal to 4 and 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 6 minus 2 is equal to 4 and 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 
Good my point all students. Answer is what? Twenty four children are there still in the park. What? Twenty four children are still in the park. Okay, thirty six children is there in the park. Twelve children is left. So total at a time twenty four children at a time twenty four children are still in the park understood this is your question number 3 i hope you all are understood now only we are here stop and in next session we are going to question number 4 5 and 6 and complete our exercise got my point all students so today we are only learn three question how many question three one two and three understood all students now he in next sessions we learn question number 4 and 5 you have your homework is what all things today all example and this all three question you have write in your fair book one time understood all students thank you so much all of you thank you so much